Welcome back again. Now let's go find us sheep. I'm definitely going to have to cut down these trees just so I can see the monsters that are nearby. I know there's one up here and one in that direction, so I'm going to have to lure this one in first. Are there really no other sheep nearby? There's one... Oh, no, that's a birch tree. So I'll do it one at a time. Come here. Come on. You know you want to. Come on. Down here. It's safe. You're away. Follow me. This way. Here we go. Now all the cows are going to flock towards the front. Come on, sheep. There we go. Show them all how smart you are. Okay. There we go. I might have to make my yard a little bit bigger. Because I planned for the cows, I didn't plan for the sheep. Well, I mean, I planned to get the sheep, I didn't plan for the sheep. So I just might have to make this yard bigger, but that's okay. How are my chickens doing? One is grown. And producing eggs. Okay, that other sheep was in this direction, because I fought the skeleton around here somewhere. Here, sheepy sheep. I hear you. Where are you? You didn't go into the trees, did you? Because sometimes that happens. Sometimes you'll just find them on the trees, and you're like, what the heck? Sheep. Sheep. I hear you. There you are. Hey, look what I got. Follow me. Now, when you are luring animals like this, you do have to make sure that uh, you don't get too far ahead of them, because otherwise they will lose interest. And uh, you will come back to them with the wheat, and they'll be like, oh, it's you. And then after a while, they'll finally remember, that's right, you have food, but, you know. You have to. It, it, it takes a little bit, and sometimes it's annoying, and they could wander off out of their, their own field division of you. So... Come on, in you go. Let's go. Come on, here we go. Yay! Okay, now I can breed some sheep. Hopefully. Maybe, possibly, because this is a cluster. <laughs> yep, I got a little sheep. Now, um, if I had like some of the gray sheep and black sheep you had, um, I might actually uh, have gotten a different color sheep. But because it's just white. And I do want, actually want more of these guys to breed as well. And the mushrooms too. There we go. Lots of animals. That was creepy. Oh my gosh, that's just creepy on the babies. I didn't realize that before. <laughs> okay. I Don't follow me. I don't have anything else now. Okay. Oh, no eggs. What's up, chickens? That's right, and I can actually breed these two as well, instead of just waiting for eggs. I can feed them seeds, and... Boop! Baby. And they turn into mammals. Because, you know, that's how that works. <laughs> Minecraft physics. <laughs> oh, I might just have to put my sheep in a separate pen. Because I don't mind having the mushrooms and the cows mixed up, but having the sheep in here too is just such a cluster. I'm going to I'm gonna have to build another pen. Because this is too much. No. So, what direction shall I build this pen? I'll just put the sheep back down here somewhere. Yeah, if I put the sheep out here, it shouldn't be too bad. Maybe I should move the chicken coop over. And then the sheep can just be kind of almost parallel with this one. Yeah, that's what I'll do. <sighs> this is going to be a little tedious. So, do you see the gate here? So, it'll be... It's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then... From here, I will be adding the wall back, which is good because the wall will be even with the wall, which I like. No sense in building a window and then blocking it. But I'm gonna be smart about this and build the. Uh... Another nice thing about having a back door is I don't have to worry about going all the way around to the front to get back in. Um. And I have some birch, yes. No birch? Okay. Oh, here's the birch. Not much, but I shouldn't need too much. Um, okay, so... Um, no. 
that's not that's not gonna be enough sticks. That will. Here's a couple fences. Uh, let's see. I don't think I'll need too much more than that, so let's give this a try. That's going to be perfect. However, I want the birch wood set first. So that means here and up here. So let's see. You'll be here. Boop. You'll be there. And there goes my phone again. I about leaped out of my seat. And in case you're wondering, it's not because it was a Dalek. It's just because my phone is kind of loud. Uh, let's see. Well, okay, you're, you're sitting there going, kind of? That was really loud. And eh, well, you know, it is what it is. So, pick up this. Pick up that. And this now becomes... And, yeah. So... Okay, that part's good. Now this one I do kind of have to go all the way around to the front for. Because <laughs> I gotta get the chickens to move over. Get out of the way. Oh my goodness, you're all in my way. Why? <laughs> Look, I have wheat. Come this way. Okay. Now forget you ever saw me. Eggs. Okay. This will help. I don't know why I built more fences when I could- I don't know. Because I was trying to be smart. <sighs> oh well. It's okay. It happens. There we go. I still didn't put these in the correct place. Exterminate what? <laughs> Freaking phone. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna do this. So that I can do this. And you're not in the correct place either. There we go. And just to get all of the stuff set back up right. I feel like I just set that little chicken on fire. Yo, chickadees, this way. There we go. Okay, I feel better about that now. Mission accomplished. And it took all day. <laughs> like many projects do. Uh, sun's not quite down yet, and I am right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tear down the rest of this so I can build a sheep pen. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm actually going to be hitting the mycelium a little bit. Oh, whoop, I don't have that co that corner covered. There we go. 
Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this tree, and then I'm gonna go in because it's getting dark. Alright, we're at the ten minute mark. Uh, well, actually we're a little past the ten minute mark. Whoop, nope, get back here, Birchwood. I'm going to head inside, and then I will see you at the next video. So let me just... Let me in. Alrighty.